Amid the pandemic, new customers are actively seeking to support black businesses. CBS 2's Tony Aiello reports. At Cupcake Cutie in Mount Vernon, okay, how many? new faces are popping in to buy their baked goods. I think people are really trying to make an effort to support black business. Owner Maisha Stokely credits a 10% uptick in sales, in part, to people using lists circulating on social media to seek out black businesses. Everyone is starting to recognize, like, you know, this is what's going on in the world is not right, and we need to stand up and come together. Something about this moment feels different. Um, we are getting more people from outside of the black and brown community who are saying enough is enough. We're in a situation right now where we need more than intention. We actually need action. Fashion designer Aurora James noticed major retailers expressing solidarity on social media and started the 15% pledge to challenge them to act, urging Target and other major players to dramatically boost buying from black vendors with a detailed plan. This is how we intend to go from 1% black owned business product to 15%. This is how long it's going to take us and this is what accountability looks like for us as well. She says corporations are listening and black entrepreneurs are watching. Our venture capitalists only invest 1% a year into minority owned businesses in this country. Kristen and Patrick Glanville own threesome chocolates. I'm actually uh, certified and trained in Belgium. Orders from big retailers would unlock venture capital for expansion. We can always scale up and we can hire within the community. We can, uh, we can make space, we can build a manufacturing distribution center, which is what we're actually trying to do, so we can scale up and we can place our chocolate in all different locations. They welcome the spike in business from people looking to support black entrepreneurs. You know, don't let it be a one-time thing and then a year from now we forget about it and we're back to the same old ways. Make a constant, you know, constant effort to support black businesses. A message aimed at Main Street and Wall Street. Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News.